Hello fire signs, welcome to my channel, welcome if you're returning and welcome if you're new, my name is Blue. This reading today is going to be for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Summer Rising, and Venus. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy general reading type of content and I do also offer personal readings in my description box below. Okay, fire signs. Um, I do have to apologize, I'm about to pull like four different spreads for you guys real quick. But I want to apologize because I have started like... um working taking more hours um trying to get back into the medical field and i don't have as much time to be on here so i just really am trying to kind of like find a balance with everything right now so <laughs> bear with me y'all okay i'm gonna put this back because one we already have three okay so we have you and your loved ones are safe new moon and cancer we have your commitment is being tested first quarter moon and we also have a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra okay so fire sign some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer a capricorn energy a libra or an aries energy i feel like if you guys have been having a lot of situations surrounding like family friends loved ones coming into play for you just situations where you're trying to figure out what's the best option what to do am i making the right choice surrounding like my friends my family my kids my partner myself you know it's almost like spirit is throwing a monkey wrench to kind of see how you're going to respond or how you're going to react what you're going to allow or what you're going to reject and um accept and there could be a situation too where some of you guys are concerned about like um your your the health of someone else that is around you the well-being of the, of someone else that is around you it's like um right now you are kind of like with your head in the clouds trying to figure something out there's a lot of questions surrounding you because i'm seeing like the seven of cups energetically it's just like someone is kind of like huh or they're just kind of like confused or they're just not sure what's coming next and i feel like this area of suspense in your life is actually a test like, it's okay if you don't know what the hell is going on, fire signs, but don't panic and don't freak out and don't just start making, like, split-second decisions that you might regret. I feel like no matter what you do at this time, fire signs, something is actually going to go in your favor in regards to a partnership or, like, um, a friendship or a relationship. And you're safe. If you're worried about someone's health, they're going to be safe. Everything is going to be okay. Literally, I feel like the message here for you guys is just don't panic, okay? No sudden movements, just relax. Um, <clears throat> I feel like somebody here is kind of like healing their heart chakra or healing something that has to do with um, their solar or sacral chakra too. It's like you guys are, are learning something from scratch or like from square one. It's kind of like something is foreign to you right now, fire signs, and you're you're actually getting the lesson. So you could be starting like a brand new cycle with somebody here. It's like you guys, again, with the first quarter moon, you're starting off on square one. Or you just like have like little knowledge and information about a certain situation. But like as time moves on, you're literally getting the, the keys and the equipment to know what to do. Okay, so let's get the next spread that's coming out for you guys. Okay, so yeah, we have a uh, real estate. Okay, so some of you guys could be moving, looking into buying a home or just kind of like um, making a really big investment in someone or something that's in your life right now. We also have vow coming out. So okay, marriage is here. Um, maybe some of you guys are signing a lease, signing a contract, um, signing a marriage certificate. I feel like you are kind of like being very selfless right now fire signs now this was interesting because when i was um doing air signs reading i was telling air signs it's like they're going from being selfish to i'm sorry air signs are going from being selfless to selfish but this is interesting because fire signs i feel like you guys have the opposite energy where you're going from being um selfish to selfless okay it's just kind of like I don't know if, you know, and we have reservation here. I don't know if before, like, some of you guys were just kind of focused on yourselves or, like, you know, you had your own vision. But it's, like, you guys are incorporating more of, like, family time or togetherness into your life. Some of you guys, I'm hearing let bygones be bygones. Like, you're thinking about forgiving somebody, moving on, kind of, like, letting the past be the past here. I feel like somebody in fire sign's energy just really wants to know if a fire sign is safe. You could want to know if a Cancer, a Capricorn, a Libra, or an Aries is safe. Like, I just hear that. 444 on the clock. Like, somebody's just like, are you okay? Like, I miss you. Are you good? I'm worried about you. You know, it's that type of energy. But I feel like somebody in the uh, fire signs energy kind of had to go, like, 
through the worst of the worst of a situation or they had to like face a health issue or like a critical ailment or something for like another person to realize like you know what damn i need to spend more time with my family or i need to you know um forgive somebody or i need to kind of just like actually get serious about my plans or what i say i'm going to do here for the future moving forward and even if this is not necessarily pertaining to a person of fire signs this could just be the goals and commitments that you have set out for yourself you're being loyal to yourself to where it's just like okay i said i was going to get that house I said I was going to get that car. I said I was going to, you know, um, put myself kind of like first or, you know, put my priorities first instead of doing like things that are not serving me. And yeah, I'm doing that now. I went with outcome is forecast. So it really doesn't matter if our signs, I feel like if you kind of like um, incorporate other people into your plan or not, you're still going to be doing something for you. <laughs> You're still going to be like healing for yourself. You're still going to be kind of uh, going out your way to make sure that something is um, finished to the end. So we have dirty offer here. We have um, no social media. And then we have ego. So ego reads her ego, ego getting in the way of relationship. And see, so, you know, this is what I was kind of talking about. A fire signs, you guys' energy is def definitely going from like um, selfish to selfless. It's almost like here you guys know for a fact that you're dodging a bullet here or you don't want to be a player anymore. Now, take which side of the coin that you guys are on, right? But it's like either you're done dealing with people who, um, I guess, take you for granted in a sense. Or you just don't want to be the type of person that's taking like anything else for granted. I feel like some of you guys could be deleting your social medias or you're thinking about this heavily. It's just kind of like, yeah, I want to focus on what matters. Like, I don't want to compete. I don't want to like be trying to prove a point. I don't want to be wasting my time on things that are not necessarily serving me or like making me feel fulfilled or good or, or complete. Like, I just really want to be in a, in a space where I feel safe. And I feel like, you know, others think that I'm safe as well. This is what this is kind of giving. Because I feel like either before you guys were the ones that was going around kind of like, you know, let me just say it. Like competing, being a player, letting your ego drive the, you know, in the front seat. Um, you know, maybe texting people on social media. I just feel like at this time you guys are kind of like, you know. I don't want to do none of that anymore. Like I, I actually want to focus on the things that fulfill me. And I feel like this is why a win-win outcome is forecast for you guys, fire signs. Because I feel like now people around you feel safe. Or you feel safe cutting these, these people off. The ones that was giving you dirty offers, period. All right. So let's see what's coming out. Yeah, we have the three of swords. Heavy energy. I feel like somebody is recovering from a heartbreak here. Or this was like the energy of the past. I'm hearing somebody was like, uh, I don't want to be a player no more. I feel like somebody was more so focused on finances, especially with the King of Pentacles. Or you guys could have been getting advice from somebody who was just talking about money all the fucking time. They're talking about money. They're talking about stability. They're talking about tangible things that like, yeah, they're important. But at the same time, like somebody here is tired of just like trying to drown their emotions in work or like focusing on like what they have or their possessions or how macho they are it's just kind of like this gives the energy of somebody who has a whole bunch of money but they don't have anybody at home like you could have been dealing with somebody like this or this is just could have had could have been how you felt fire signs but it's just kind of like i'm seeing the energy of someone who they have everything in their wallet and in their house they're very comfortable but when christmas time rolls around they're sitting at home by themselves Rubbing their feet together, watching the same reruns of Charlie Brown. It's just kind of like, okay, we have the chariot card. Yeah, someone is trying to take control of their future by like, you know, they're, they don't want to wallow anymore. They don't want that eager energy. They don't want to be heartbreaking, heartbroken. They're just trying to kind of take control of like their pain and manage their um, ego better or their heartbreak better or their heart, heart chakra better. Did I mention heart chakra at first? Yeah, six of wands. I feel like somebody is completely changing the way that they kind of like come up in a situation or the way that they kind of handle something. 
I feel like um, you guys are more so like spreading your wealth, spreading your love, kind of like spreading your resources here. You're sharing more. You guys could be kind of like taking somebody in under your wing or you are just prioritizing your money. And when I say prioritizing your money, I mean in a way now that it's kind of like it's not just all about you, right? Or somebody could be doing this for you, fire signs, where they want to, you know, prioritize you too. So how long is this? We got, okay, let me clear this board and then get um, a few more cards. And then we're going to move on to earth signs. So let's just see what else is coming out here for fire signs. Oh, that's so cute, fire signs. So some of you guys could be definitely getting like messages asking for like forgiveness or you guys could be sending out apology letters or like, um, I don't know. It's just the energy of kind of like trying to make something right. I just want to make things right. How many cards is this? I'll take all of them. All right. So we have the justice card coming out first. Libra energy again, friendship, calm and self-love. Yeah, so I feel like, um, again, there's a restoration towards, like, um, a family issue, a friendship issue. I feel like you guys are making more time for the people in your life that, that matters. This could be kids, too, someone in your family that could be sick. It's like you're spending more time with the people who actually bring, like, a sense of serenity to your life. And I don't know, by loving people and, like, actually expressing how you feel about other people, it's giving you a really deeper sense of yourself. It's just kind of like, damn, I, I never knew. You know, once I kind of like got rid of all of the baggage and like the vultures and the fake friends and shit like that, like, and I started focusing on like more healthier choices, calmer choices, a calmer sense of being, a calmer way of living, a calmer way of thinking. Like, I just, I just, I love myself. I love who I am now. I don't want to go back to like the past of always having to like argue, fuss, fight, mediate situations i just kind of want to be in this energy of like kumbaya literally because when i feel like i'm loved i love myself more oh okay all right fire signs so i love you guys so much and i hope that i will see you guys again soon lord knows but bye